We're embarking on the first mission to their world. You've been blessed with the ability to interact with alien tech. And I want you to join us. Give them a taste of their own medicine. How's it going? Good. How are you, Jim? Nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Wow, I like your background. Look at that. We're James Bond representing. R.I.P. R.I.P. Right? Yeah, Sean Connery. Very cool. Are you a fan of the series? Yeah, of course. Where would you get? Where did you get that? That's that's such a cool poster. It was a gift, surprisingly. Wow. Isn't that great. Yeah, it is pretty awesome. Well, it's a great setting for a background, you know? I have a Christmas tree in mind, so. <laughs> You're way ahead of me. I just got Sean Connor. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're both doing well. So how's your how's your Saturday morning rolling? Good. You know, I, I worked yesterday, and then we're actually, we're working tomorrow, so. Wow. This doesn't feel like quite like Saturday. It feels like a Tuesday. Oh, really? I'm like, you must be an early riser for a Saturday morning, you know, ready to go for interviews and all. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> Are you out in LA? I'm in, I'm in Austin, Texas, actually. Oh, you're in Austin, Texas. Okay. And you're filming out there? Yes, yes. Well, that's like close to home for you then. Wow. Yeah, it's been, it's been great. I haven't been this close to my family in a decade. Yeah, how ironic that you get to film basically at at home, and you're I'm sure you're gonna stay for the holidays and all, right? Yeah, I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> right. I like it. I'm in Chicago, so uh, I'm, oh, I'm your Chicago. family too. You know, great city. No question. Uh, too good for food, you know. So that's why I got to hit the oh, gym God. later on after this interview. So <laughs> that pizza, that's the best oh, pizza. You know what? I'll say this. They have good pizza, but I, I'm not into Chicago uh, deep dish. What? I'm not. Whoa. I know. I'm not. And I'm from here. I'm, I'm, a, I'm as Chicago as it gets. Uh, but I'm, I'm, I'm into New York style. Really? Like, New York is good. Yeah. Like the, the Chicago the, is like, I don't know. It's like, it's like fulfilling. One slice and you're out. You're literally, it's yes. like eating a turkey for Thanksgiving. It's like, yeah. you want to go fall asleep after one slice of it. So I'm like, nah, I'll keep away from that. You want to keep it, keep it moving. Yeah, I can see yeah. that. All right. Well, I, I talked to your co-star Alexander and he, a couple of days ago, and he had so many great things to say about you. He was so impressed how much uh, you had to go through in this movie and all, you know? So he, he told me to give you a shout out too when, when I talked oh, to you. Oh, I love him. He was awesome. He literally like sparkles on screen. I think I, I went up to him at one point and I was like, um, how do you do that? <laughs> <laughs> well, he's been at it for a while. He, he's had a heck of a career. So that's someone to get advice from for sure. That, that's what I want to be when I grow up. Alexander Siddig. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd say so. That's a good, that's a good, you know, Think to, to, to role model yourself after a career path like that but you're doing well yourself and and hey you get to lead this movie too so you you did the previous one uh in this film so you're kind of you're not a newcomer to like alexander was for example to the to the franchise uh tell me what kind of uh, appeal the, the previous one was with frank grill i think and then it was eric belfort within the first one right Yes, 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 yeah, yes. There we go. I remember. Um, how was it back? How was it to come back now? And in, in a sense, even in a bigger role than before? Yeah, you know, it was a little crazy because the first, or Beyond the the second one, my role in it, I joined the movie after the movie was done. Like after the movie was completely done with principal photography and, you know, we had most of the effects in, like it was ready to go. And they wow. were testing it in theaters and like having like screen audiences. And a lot of people, and from what Liam told me, um, the creator, writer, and director, he said a lot of people were very interested in the little girl, the Rose character. And so he, he got this idea of how cool would it be to kind of put these vignettes of like her future and like flash forward of, you know, what she becomes after all this and like what happens to her. So I, I you know, I got, I was offered the role and I showed up and I shot for like one day very quickly. We just were in and out and I left not really thinking anything of it. I was like, that was a cool experience. And yeah, then and a quick like, one too. <laughs> uh, super quick. Yeah. You know, I never met anyone else from the cast. We had a very small crew. 
I think I recorded like ADR on Liam's cell phone. Like it was, <laughs> nice. I was like, oh, I don't know what's going on. And, but I'm here, I'm here, I'm doing it. And then um, literally like a year later, maybe eight months later, he emails me and he's like, hey, can we get a coffee? I have a script. And then that was what brought me into the third one. So it was pretty, yeah, I didn't, I didn't know what to expect, but it was pretty cool. Yeah, and you're going to be working more than one day also. <laughs> by a, the way. Yeah, by the way, we have a lot planned for you this time around. Yeah, yeah. And, and you know, I talked to Alexander, it, the movie's cool because it's got so many effects, you know, and obviously you see all that probably in post, uh, you know, it's, it's green screen, a lot of it, but, but there's physicality required in this role. It's not like you can just show up and stand around, you know, too. Uh, tell me about that oh, aspect of it, especially all that you have to, to go through in it. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, that was something I didn't quite, when I read the script, you know, usually when I read scripts, I kind of imagine the movie in my mind and, yeah. And I was imagining it, but I just didn't really realize, oh, that's me, I gotta do that. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I was like, oh, what a cool story. What a great story. What a great movie in my mind. And then um, we went to filming it and really kind of getting into it. I was like, oh, wow, this is a very physically demanding role, you know, because all of her power lies in her body. And, um, and also, you know, her alienness is in her body and her bloodstream and in her DNA. So it was very interesting of like, you know, finding ways to showcase, you know, cause it's like at the end of the day, you know, I have a power claw on and it's, and it has a green dot on it. And right, I'm just exactly. like that things. And it's not very, it's not very cinematic. It doesn't feel very cool. It doesn't feel very powerful. So yeah. I was trying to find ways to make it feel powerful for me as the actor and, and for my character that, you know, even if we didn't have the wonderful world of, of, of CGI, how could we still kind of show that? So I, I use, I'm a very physical actor. So I used a mm. lot of um, my physicality to try to show that. And also, you know, my, one of my favorite parts of the movie is when she does, spoiler, transform into um, Fab Rose. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I call her I call her Rose. <laughs> Rose, yeah, with a drink, <laughs> with a drink to it, you know. Exactly. I mean, she's Rose, and she's the bad alien. Um, how to showcase that new alien energy in her body? And you know, I try to have a different way I carried myself, and the way I walked, and the way I fought was a little bit. I try to mirror it after, like the harvesters and the other aliens um, that you met before. Um, to kind of show that she's she's part of their world and part of their DNA. So, yeah, it was a really and then of course we have these crazy fun uh, stunt sequences and fights and struggles and me hanging off of hangers and trying right. to get sucked in you know a, a wormhole. <laughs> so, you went um, through it all. You know your 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 castmates recognize that at least. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Appreciate you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I can't, I can't let you go without asking about the, the 100. I mean, uh, wow. What a run, right? I mean, do you miss the show now that it, it's kind of wrapped up after all these years you were invested in it? It was like almost what a hundred episodes, I believe. And you were most, probably in most of them. Um, what does it feel like now? Does it feel like you graduated school and kind of like, oh, wow, I don't have to go to class anymore. I uh, kind of miss everyone. Uh, what has that experience been like now that it's all over? It was super surreal when we were filming, especially the finale, because the pandemic was happening. Like mm -hmm. basically we wrapped and two days later, the world shut down, like North America shut down. Um, so, you know, and while we were filming, all the other productions around town were shutting down, we're hearing all these crazy reports, toilet paper was missing. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, it was. We were still going to work like, uh, we're just gonna, keep doing this so it was you know we didn't have a lot of time to really like sit in the sadness and the emotion of like what was happening we just had to shoot and get out of there so it didn't really hit me until I was working I started work on this new project here in Texas um Walker and you know I was I'm playing this new character and it you know fall is coming and that's usually when I'm in Vancouver is during like the fall and winter and you know the leaves are all falling down and it's snowing in, in Canada and Vancouver and 
I just kind of, it hit me. I was like, whoa, I'm in Texas. I'm in shorts. It's October. Mm -hmm. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not Raven Reyes right now, you know? And it, and it really hit me like, wow, I'm not going to play Raven Reyes ever again. That's crazy. And not be, and you know, we're in a post-apocalyptic world and in the future and in sci-fi, you know, and I was like, well, I'm not in that world again. Like I'm in the modern world getting tacos. Mm -hmm. That's wild. So it hit me then. And it, you know, I, I hold Raven Reyes and, and the show and my castmates and the crew and everyone that was a part of it, like so deeply in my heart and, um, you know, it, it was like a really <laughs> crazy, but really exciting dream that I got to just kind of be in for the, for my 20s. Yeah, and it's seven, I mean, it's rare for a show to have that many seasons, any show, you know, really to be together. I mean, 100 episodes, that, that's some kind of an accomplishment in itself in, in television, you know, so to be part of that. Do you still talk with the cast? Do you guys keep in touch now? And how, how is that? Of course. Um, yeah, I mean, we're all doing different things. And, but yeah, we're all really like, we're all still very, very close. We have our group chats and our WhatsApp chats and our texts and you know, I'm super close with Tasia, so you know, I just spoke with her yesterday. Um, yeah, we all keep in touch, you know, as much as it's funny, we spend so much time with each other. So now it's, and I spent a lot of, and I spent the majority of like the pandemic in Canada too. So I got to mm -hmm. see a little bit more of them um, safely and, you know, outside and everything. Um, more so than I kind of would have if I had gone back to America. So that was that was really nice. But yeah, they're going to be my friends forever. And, mm -hmm. you know, I don't see, I miss them. I miss working with them, but I wouldn't say our relationship has, has changed. We're all still, everyone I was close to, I'm still very, very close to now. That's cool. You make a lifetime bond, you know, by, by working oh, yeah. together. That's, it's really oh, cool. Yeah. It never ends. And finally, I wanted to ask you, what are some of your hobbies? What are some things Lindsay Morgan likes to do when you're not filming, when you're not connected to a show? What are what are some things you like to get away to that we wouldn't know about, maybe? Well, I do enjoy sleeping. <laughs> That's <laughs> so a good I choice right there. I like that one. I do that. I also enjoy eating. I do a lot of that when I'm not working. Um, I've been learning to ride a motorcycle. So that's like Ooh. my newest adventure um and i want to learn to ride dirt bikes so that's that's kind of what I'm, I'm doing now i'm also you know i directed last year and i've been having you know working on that and obviously uh, some got some plans and aspirations to keep doing that so yeah you know i like exploring i can't really you know travel too much with covid but you know i'll do some hikes and and try to just get to know where I am in the world. And I, I like to be outside. Um, I also been cooking a lot. So okay. what, a lot, what, a lot of cooking. what have you mastered or failed at? Or like, what's your, what's your dish? I don't fail at anything <laughs> <laughs> at all. I'm just kidding. Uh -huh. um, you know, we made, we made bread, we made bread. Me and my boyfriend made bread the other week, but, but not like, you know, everyone's typical bread. We made like a, we made a special kind of grain-free bread. So it was a lot harder than regular bread, um, but it turned out great. It tasted awesome. We also just got an air fryer. So we've been experimenting Me too. With that. I got it at Black Friday shopping. I can't That's believe it. it. That's been life-changing. It's been amazing. Um, I mean- it? Have you used it? Yes, yes. I, I, literally the box is like right there. I'm planning to use it like in the next few days because I just haven't had a chance, but I'm so it. excited about it. it. I'm at least make French fries. Like, Fries are, that's what's up. Okay. Make some fries in there. Um, yeah, I just made some enchiladas uh, the other week, but with like cassava tortilla and like kind of, you know, we always had it. me and my boyfriend both kind of have like some digestion issues and we're like allergic to a bunch of stuff. So we always kind of have to revamp recipes and really get creative to kind of make them always taste good. So we we're working on that. Um, we made octopus. That was pretty cool. Wow. And it was delicious. I was thinking like pasta or something like that. You're just like going all over the place That's with no place. green bread and octopus. You're yeah. doing well in the cooking. It's been fun. It's been fun experimenting.
That's awesome. Well, I had a blast chatting with you, but been a longtime fan, obviously been a fan of the 100. So it's cool to, to finally get to talk to you and uh, awesome job in this film. Uh, I enjoyed this Skyline franchise too. Uh, but yeah, and thanks for the, for the air fryer tip. I'm going to start with French fries in that case. You, you can't mess them up and they're just delicious. Yeah. You'll no. love them. You'll love them, Jim. <laughs> I'll try it for sure. Well, enjoy your day and most importantly, enjoy your time with family. It's perfect that you get to film uh, in your hometown in a sense, uh, near family. Okay. So uh, health and safety to you and your family and definitely happy holidays and enjoy all that, you know, that we have at this time of season. Thank you. You too. Stay safe. You too. Hope to catch up soon. Yeah, for sure. Bye, Jim. Bye-bye.